Hey everybody, this is Jesse, the bail bondsman behind the screen. This is the quick video on how to fill out our easy, quick, mobile-friendly bail application form. So this form works well on all mobile devices, uh, including Apple phones, Android tablets. It also works on your desktop and laptop. If you prefer to do the bail application through email, we also use a few different programs, including DocuSign, which most people are familiar with, and Write Signature. So let's get started. Uh, first things first, this, is, a, this uh, is available in English as well as most languages, as you can see in the top right corner. If you click down, most languages can be accommodated. To get started, let's click the Start button in the lower center. And this is just gonna ask you for some basic information. All of this information is confidential. We do not share this with the jail. We do not share anything with law enforcement. This is just so we can get the bond approved and get the person out of jail as quickly as possible. So name of the person in jail. And if you're not sure of the correct spelling, just, um, just let us know. Say, hey, I'm not sure of the last name or maybe they have two last names. That's okay, we'll figure it out. I'm just gonna put in my information real quick. So this goes through location. Now, same thing, if you could narrow it down to city or county, uh, this form is for California. Other forms for other states are available as well, but for California, let's say this person is in LA, and this will help just uh, get us the paperwork done as quickly as possible. Your name, uh, so we know who we're talking to and know who to communicate everything with. Your phone number, this way we can give you a call after the form submitted, see if you have any questions, uh, concerns, and see if there's any other documents that are needed. Your email, uh, this is necessary. We, we don't share this for marketing purposes or anything. This is just so we can send you receipts, court information, give you ETAs on release times because the release time once a bond is posted does vary from county to county and even jail to jail. For example, Los Angeles, it could be anywhere from six hours to 10 hours, whereas a local police department, say 77th Street or Long Beach, it could be an hour. Um, some of the smaller jails, say like in Orange County, like Laguna Beach, it could be 30 minutes. So this is why we need a phone number and emails. That way, if you're picking the person up, you can get some updates, and then also, um, if you're not picking the person up, we do we can offer free Uber rides from jail, if you just let us know that that's needed. So let's enter my email. All right, and then the rest of these questions are they're optional, but if you could answer these as best to your uh, best of your ability, that'd be great just so we can prepare the, the necessary forms on our end. And we also know who we're talking to because a lot of times people call us from jail or we may get multiple calls about the same defendant. So it just uh, helps us sort of narrow down and streamline communication. Defendant's uh, bond amount, if known. If you don't know, that's okay because we have to call the jail or the court wherever the defendant's being held and verify all that information. So if you have the information, that's great. If not, we'll figure it out. Um, same goes for the next few questions, date of birth or age. That just helps us look up the inmate information quickly, but we can, we can find all that. Uh, address, as much information as you know about the defendant, because we're, we have to communicate with the defendant after they release. Um, and that includes sending them court reminders, uh, you know, follow up and see if they have any questions as well, or if there's any payments. So if you have that information, great. If not, don't worry about it. Just submit as much as you know. And we can always get the information um, when, after the person's released or do a jail visit. So just quickly go through all the basic information. Uh, we got as much as you know. So when it asks for your information, um, this is more if you're applying for payment plans or say like you're doing a 1% down bail bond or no money down, 0% financing, all those kind of things. The bond companies do have a little bit more underwriting to do, so they are going to need to verify your identity or whoever's co-signing the bond, whether that's you or another co-signer, and they are going to need to see some more documentation to do payment plans or if it's a high-risk bond. So some of these things may not apply to you if you're just paying the full premium um, or 
or whatever the situation is. And if you have questions, just give us a call. We are open 24-7. Uh, every day of the year, there's always someone on call. Uh, we do have multilingual staff that speak both English and Spanish. And you can also send us questions uh, through uh, email or through the contact form on the websites. So uh, date of birth, social security number. Again, this is all confidential. This is if you are applying for payment plans because since you're signing electronically, we do have to verify that the person signing for the payment plans is who they say they are. Just like if you were co-signing an apartment or a car loan or something. Same process. It's gonna ask you just to check on a few things if they apply to you. We do offer discounts for certain things like homeowners, um, people that are in the military, government union workers and that sort of thing. So that's why it's asking for occupation because if you do qualify for any of those discounts, we'll make sure to let you know. And there's some more uh, check boxes just, you know, if the Ask about the defendant, because again, there are some uh, discounts for homeowners and military. So if one of these things applies to them, make sure you click on that box. This is gonna ask for references. We typically don't check references unless it is like a higher risk bond where you know, it's a million dollar bond and the bond company does have to do some due diligence. But for most bonds that are 10,000, 50,000 for a DUI or domestic violence or something. No one's going to um, check these things. This is more so we have information on file in case the defendant disappears and we have to go looking for them or we can't find you to uh, relay information. And in a lot of these, you can also uh, screenshot, upload a picture. You'll see the little icons below the box. And that's so if you needed to like screenshot, um, you know, something from an address book or your contact list, you can do that to save some time. Uh, vehicle information, this is optional. Again, this is for more high risk cases, uh, larger bail amounts where they are gonna wanna verify uh, people's identity, which means, you know, not only doing like a background check, but also making sure that they are here in California. And this is where you can upload your supporting documents. So if you're doing payment plans, there's three things that all bail bond companies are gonna want. And again, if you're not comfortable submitting it here, you can also email it, fax it, take pictures, text them. Um, you can do this all in person as well. If you want to, you don't have to, but we do have bail agents that will meet you at one of our offices, which we have several throughout California, or they can even meet you at the jail or court, depending on where the defendant is located. But to upload a document, pretty easy. Just click on this blue rectangle that says Browse Files, and you get a couple options. So Photo Library, that's if you already took a picture with your phone or device that you're on of, say, like your ID or pay statements or whatever. You can just quickly upload those. The second option is take a video or a photo. You can click on that, and then that'll give you the option, if you're on a mobile device, to just take a photo right there of your documents or the third option choose files and that's to search um, your hard drive so say you already put all of your files into a folder on your desktop or laptop you can quickly upload them from there additional documents uh, second thing would be what's called uh, proof of residency and again this is typical for any bail bond agency they want to know on high risk cases and payment plans uh, that the person who's signing one is who they say they are and that they do have ties to the community. They are here in California in most cases. So they're gonna want something like a picture of your car registration or a utility bill or something with your name and address on it to make sure that the person is here uh, in California and not co-signing from some faraway place where uh, it would be hard to locate the defendant. Third and last thing that they're gonna require is income documentation. And again, this is for payment plans. For most cases, if you're just paying the full premium to the bond company, they're not gonna ask for all this stuff. That's why it's optional. And again, you can also send this documentation later um, through email or in person or fax, whatever is convenient for you, whatever you're comfortable with. But income documentation would be something like a picture or a screenshot of uh, pay stubs, pay statement, a bank statement, something that shows that there is income coming in for the co-signer to be able to afford a payment plan that they're applying for. And the same thing, you click on browse and just take a picture, photo, uh, photo um, or upload from your files.
And then a couple more optional questions. This just helps us so when we give you a call regarding payments, if applicable, um, we know like how much you're interested in paying and then that way we can give you some different monthly payment options. And if you wanted to streamline things and say here's a credit card, charge it, you can upload a picture of the card and we can go ahead and charge it and then send you a receipt. Um, if, if, if nothing is uploaded, we'll typically just send a interactive invoice through Square. Um, we also can process payments through PayPal, Venmo, Zelle. We also take wire transfers and we have accounts at both Chase and Wells Fargo. So if you want to do a cash payment and you're not near an office or near one of our agents, you can always make a cash deposit at a branch and they will give you a receipt. It goes straight into the bond company's account. And now there are two privacy disclosures that we have to give you in the state of California, and these will vary depending on what state you're in. But just want to read through that, click submit. Second one, click submit. And that's it. Application received. It goes straight to the agent on call, which is me at this moment. And that's it. So it only took about three minutes or so to fill most of this out. And then an agent will give you a call. Um, and go over any details. If you have any questions, you can always give us a call. We are available 24-7, and we have both English and Spanish-speaking agents. So I hope this video was helpful, and we'll also put the links in the description of the video to our online bail application as well as the website. And then if you need help, just give us a call, and we'll walk you through it. All right.